there are different models uh, of behavior belief change or behavior change uh, coordination competition goals values that we keep listening to we're all conversant with the motivation deficit model where people say that if something is happening then the person is motivated if something is not happening the person is not motivated then there is the information deficit model which is give the person the information and the person will change the behavior and in the absence of uh, information the person doesn't change the behavior there is another deficit model of uh, belief and behavior which is about creativity and some people say that you know just giving information doesn't make sense you need to give information in a very creative way because creativity will hook not only the attention but will also pull up all kinds of associative memory and also the kind of chemicals that get generated in the processing of that creative information that might give some kind of fillip towards behavior and belief change of late we've been hearing that the international discourse or the discourse one is getting through various social media feed is is wrought with echo chamber confirmation bias tribalism resentment anger activism and people who want to address this as an issue or say that yes there is the feltness yes there is the lived experience yes there are the wrongs that may have happened in history or happening now but there is a way to address them and people who want to address them in this manner then have different school of thoughts one of the school of thoughts believe that there is this cons- consistent ratcheting up of one's confirmation bias because one is getting the same kind of information in their feeds same kind of videos in their feed same kind of influencers whom they have been following and this actually acts as digging the heel or doubling down and does not really help in terms of creating some kind of a space hold some kind of a space where people can have meaningful dialogue dialectic to discover something that can be then pursued in form of action and can actually alleviate the root of the pain also ensure that there is no self perpetuation of power while doing this as a process i think the assumption in this is that again that if, if people get the right kind of debates you know if people have the right kind of debates if people have meaningful discourses available to them so move away from the information to meaningful discourses sense making dialogues and the presence of these dialogues have potential to change now if we were to plot something on an x axis and y axis that can we, can we have a plotting of uh, in the past or in the current are there instances where people have the seemingly right information and despite having that right information it doesn't translate into behavior so imagine on the x axis you have have the right information don't have the right information and on the y axis you have change in behavior towards the right information or desired behavior or desired belief or not change or no change towards the desired behavior and belief i would imagine that we would fall in all four quadrants it certainly would be the case that in some cases you get the right information and you act on it you're able to make changes in some cases you have the right information you are not able to make changes in some cases you don't get the right information and yet you are able to change it towards that uh in some way and uh, the fourth quadrant being you have you don't get the information and you don't change the behavior and belief so i think if we go down this path and try and understand a little more it would really help in understanding people's behavior and belief system one other thing as a response to this would be so imagine if everybody had right discourse right kind of respectful conversation series right kind of national international common goal purpose would this change everybody's behavior at the same point to the same intensity and the consistent displayed of this changed belief and behavior my sense is no i think that different people are at different capacity to understand the new information or the new discourse new way of the discourse and even if so there is this uh, extent of understanding so low high extent of understanding the second could be assimilating it deeply within one's overall understanding such that one is able to build coherence 
and and resonance pondering over delving over going deeper with this new understanding so again imagine this could be high low assimilation so get get an axis x axis and y axis on the x axis you have the intensity of understanding the ability to understand high low and on the y axis the ability to assimilate high low so you'll again get people on different quadrant they some cases they would have very high understanding but difficult assimilation and or rather low assimilation and so you'll have high understanding high assimilation low understanding low assimilation high understanding low assimilation low understanding high assimilation and then translating that into one's behavior over a period of time uh, would also have a lot of other assimilations because the assimilation then moves on from just the uh, thinking or the information of the belief part of it but now we're talking about the assimilation such that it is exhibited in the emotions that it carry and the behavior that is exhibited alongside so yeah i think we need to delve deeper i'm not saying i'm skeptic on all of the thing that i said i just believe that these are the frames that we we'll need to use if we were to move towards uh, anything for better civilization or game b or or any other way in which we were to talk and bring about some kind of change